Hello guys, so this video is for those who have problems with uh, managing their routers. Came to realize that people can't manage their routers or Wi-Fi without using a third party software or application. By the way, uh, every uh, manufacturer of uh, a router usually take care of, 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 the, of the users. So, um, everything uh, regarding how to manage or administer your network is always taken care of by the manufacturer of your of your device except that maybe the most isp don't uh, provide a user uh, what do we call it we call it user training or what uh, they don't show you how to use how to manage so as a result, people are uh, resort to downloading and even making payments to third party softwares so that they can just do a simple thing that is well taken care of, which is provided by the device. So, for example, so you can see here, uh, let's see uh, uh, the networks I'm connected to. So, I'm connected to this network currently on this device. So how do we manage? So this is my this is my network. So I have two networks here. I'm going to show you uh, uh, these networks. Uh, 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 one is from a tender, as you can see here. And the other one is from uh, a very old router that is even out of the market. This uh, Netcom Wireless, a very powerful router by the way, that was discontinued. I think 2017 or 2020, but you can imagine it's still working very well and actually it it outperforms the most of these other modern routers like the tender here so uh, so very fast if you're on windows so i want to show you how to do this using a command so just come to your windows okay then search this cmd this is the command line and or the command pro the windows command prompt then open then you, all you need, you just need to run um, this command ip config. So this uh, command is going to list uh, your IP address and the IP address of your of your router or the access point. So you can see the gateway here. This is the gate. This is the uh, IP address of your access point and then this is your IP address here this is the IP address that you assigned to so we are not interested in this we are interested in this because we want to do some management on this so go to your browser so we're going to copy this and then go to your browser okay and just paste this on your browser and then so I request for the username and password so the username is default just like the default username and mean don't have to change that you can just change the password this is not necessary so then let me sign in to this network so you can see i'm now signing in as i said these are very old uh these are very old very very old uh, device but i'm still using it because uh it has some advantages so you can see uh today's date so then uh, you just on this kind of route you just go to device information so then you can see uh, we are not interested in this I'm interested in the dhcp so this way i'm going to see the devices that are connected to this router so you can see so there are many devices one two three four five six seven so there are five devices there are seven devices connected here so this is if you want to blow a device here yeah, for example so you want to restrict it so first of all you need to come to your wireless and do some so come to mark filtering because you use the mark address to block devices or restrict devices so you ensure the mark address restrict mode is uh, selected to or is set to deny so that any device that will be uh, listed here will be denied access so you can see deny is uh, selected so you just come to your DHCP, then you just do this, then you just see any unauthorized device there. If you just feel maybe uh, this one, I don't recognize this device, 
I had never allowed access of this device. So just come here and just copy your. So this is the old way because this is a very old model. Right? So just do the old way, do the manual way. So we copy this and then you came here to the filtering and paste it. So I'll click add and then paste this and then you apply and save so that's all once you do that this device is going to be blocked it's going to be blocked and when you get back here when you get back here you find it among the list so and then when you want to redo if uh, it's time to give it access you just come here and select it and then I remove click remove so it will be removed from the blacklist so that's how you can administer this kind of old now for the newer the modern so i have another one so i have two networks here i'm managing two networks so i have this network as well yeah this one is 40. so you can see this as well has six devices so you can see it you can check them so you have these devices connected to this so you can imagine so this is very easy to admin so you can see uh, this 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 one i don't recognize this device so all you need to do is just do this you just come here and toggle once this is toggled and then you come here and click OK and this one will be listed here and the block prices but let me just allow this so you just allow this device the native device this is uh, native device is the device that I'm accessing from so like this the device this is the native device okay so I'm not uh, so I can manage this even though I'm not directly connected to this because I'm um, in a certain connection the network here this one that i'm connected to is connected to this that's what you can see i'm not directly connected to this router but i'm able to manage this router you can see i know uh, that's most likely many people tell that it's impossible but it is possible why because uh, i'm able to, to 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 manage this yet i'm not connected to this why because the network I'm connected to here, this one, is linked to uh, this network. So ensure the two routers, this one and this one, are interconnected. As a result, I am able to manage both. Okay. Same case if you come here and this one, if you come to this one, I want to show you something. This very old, the old router. This, uh, this is another router here that is connected. This one, I think this is another router. It's connected here. And I'm able to see the devices that are connected to this. So, so in other words, yeah, I, I have access to almost three, net, three uh, devices. So, so for the modern routers, you can see how is it is to do administration of them just come here uh, then this is the internet access okay so if you want to restrict the access of this device you just toggle this okay mm -hmm. then you click ok here to apply the changes if you want to do some administration kind of administration just come here this is the login password repeat password you can see this one don't have any login password it is it's just open so we can create here yeah you can create one here we have other settings here if you want to reboot maybe you have you want to resolve a connection issues sometimes there are connection issues just yes, reboot if you want to reset you just reset this one okay okay this is the status you can see so it's connected so this is another uh, diagnostic tool you just sometimes just come here and see what is happening it will show you if there's a problem between your connection like between the router and the the isp it will show a disconnection at this point it's between the devices and the router it show a disconnection at this point okay then you can as well uh, decide if you want uh, this one is when you have the device PoE and this one you can choose this one and assign yourself an IP address and use static static mode or just use dynamic mode and uh, let the 
ISP assign you an IP dynamic wireless setting. So this is where you set your connection. So the wireless setting you can see uh, this is the name of the this. You can decide to hide it if you don't want people to see your network. You can hide, you can click here, right? So that nobody will be able to see your network. You just use this one. And then this one, password. You can see a very obvious password because I'm not, uh, I'm very generous. So I just let people do whatever they want. Okay. Uh, there are, so that, those are the. Uh, uh, this one, if you want to switch it off, if you want to off your, but this is not necessary. You, why would you do this? Why, you know, it is not necessary. Okay. Uh, the other, the other settings here are not primary. They are not. Um, so these are the very primary settings that you need to know to. So once you just this is how you just see the outlook you know if you are a you are you are you are you are device is receiving a connection or is connected is receiving is connected to the internet the number of devices connected you can see okay so it's very very easy okay so you don't need you don't really need a third part app or software to do your thing you can see the speed is not very high it's about seven but that's very small very low speed okay yeah so you actually don't need a third part software application to you don't need to be changing your password every now and then because you want to you know no 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 you don't need that just relax you can even let your password to be zero 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 zero. Yes, a very easy password because you have the capabilities. You have the ability to to, to restrict and block these devices. Why would you put a very difficult password because you want to restrict? You don't don't use a password to restrict them. Just block them. You know. Yes, do that. You, yes, yes, do this. Yes, and then you just come here and say, click OK. Once you click OK, the, de uh, the block device will appear here. Yes. For example, let me block this one and then let, let me click OK. So you can see the block device that you can see. Check it's listed here. It's been blocked. If you want to remove them, just remove. Yes, just like that. And then click OK again so that it can be given access you can see it is not listed here until this person who was using that phone to reconnect again that's when he will appear here so currently wherever he or, he or she is is wondering what is happening and they have to make an attempt to reconnect once they make that attempt they will be reconnected okay so as here and this one you can see this another route connected here as you can see this another route connected this one is native the native device and now this it is the device it is the my pc the reason why it is unknown it is unknown because as i said i'm not directly connected to this i'm accessing this from another network that these two networks are interconnected so i'm able to see what is happening in all the networks that are connected we have this network and we have this network and we still have this network and here this is also another network this is another router connected here okay so i can still use i can still access it i can use this ip address the ip address that is being that is assigned to this route can as well access it and see the devices that are connected to this yes so that's you don't need here you know